Thank you for purchasing the ultimate plan of Yeastar P-Series PBX. Once purchased, the video conference function will be enabled automatically. This function is based on WebRTC, so we suggest you using Chrome for PC. We can log into the web client as an extension user and find video conference in the main menu. We can create an instant meeting on the video conference page and start right away, or create a meeting link and start the meeting at an appointed time later. Let's begin with starting an instant meeting. Click on it, and a window will pop up indicating that the PBX wants to use your camera. Click on Allow, then we will be able to see the camera working on the meeting preparation page. Here we can click to switch on and off your camera and your microphone. We can also click on the configuration button to choose a camera, microphone, and speaker for the meeting. Once our configuration is down, we can get back to the preparation page and set a password. This password will be required for the system when other participants try to enter the meeting room. Now we're all set. Click Join to start the meeting. The system will show invitation information, which we can click to copy and send to other participants to click to enter the meeting. Anyone with the link and correct password can enter the video conference. P-Series PBX and Web Client is only necessary for the host. Regular participants don't need them. During the conference, we can turn on and off our camera and mic. And at the same time, we can share our screen at the meeting. We can also chat within the meeting room and as the host, we can click on participants and manage other participants. Mute and unmute them or switch on and off their camera. Of course, we can send an invitation in the conference as well. When we need to create a meeting link and start the meeting at a scheduled time, we can click on create meeting link. We can name the meeting and set up the start time of the meeting. Then we can set a meeting password for participants and a hosted password for the host. If configured, the system will require a password before joining the meeting and only by putting in the password correctly can we join as the corresponding role. Then we will see the meeting link in the list. We can copy the invitation information and send it to external participants if we need to invite internal participants or external contact from our contacts list. We can click on Invite Participants. We will see a list of all web client users and contacts. We can choose and invite them by their assigned email. Once we are finished, we can click to start the meeting. Thank <laughs> you.